In the depths of our psyche lies a powerful force, often ignored yet pivotal to our journey of self-discovery and fulfillment. This force, known as the shadow, is a concept introduced by the renowned psychologist Carl Jung. It represents the parts of ourselves we have pushed away, ignored, or deemed unacceptable. However, embracing our shadow is not just an act of courage, it's a path to achieving our deepest desires. The journey into the shadow is not for the faint of heart. It requires us to face truths about ourselves we have long denied. But in this confrontation lies the key to unlocking a life of authenticity, purpose, and boundless potential. To embark on this transformative journey, we must first understand the nature of the shadow and why it holds such power over our lives. Our shadow is composed of the aspects of our personality that we, consciously or subconsciously, have decided are not acceptable to our family, society, or even ourselves. These can be traits we view as negative anger, jealousy, greed, or even positive qualities we're afraid to express, like assertiveness or ambition. Over time, these repressed parts do not vanish. They simmer beneath the surface, influencing our actions and reactions in ways we might not realize. The first step in embracing our shadow is acknowledging its existence. It's about looking inward with honesty and openness, recognizing the parts of ourselves we've hidden away. This process can be unsettling, but it's essential for growth. As we shine a light on these hidden aspects, we begin to understand ourselves more fully. We see that our shadow is not an enemy to be feared, but a misunderstood part of ourselves longing for acceptance. Incorporating the shadow into our consciousness does more than just provide self-awareness. It unleashes a wellspring of creativity and energy. Those parts we've repressed hold immense potential. When we allow them to surface, we tap into new skills, strengths and perspectives. Imagine harnessing the energy of your anger for positive action or using your hidden assertiveness to stand up for what you believe in. The possibilities are endless. The journey of embracing the shadow is not a destination but a continuous process of self-discovery. As we integrate our shadow, we become more whole, more authentic. We start to live in alignment with our true selves, and it's in this state of authenticity that we can truly attain anything we desire. Our desires are no longer clouded by unacknowledged parts of ourselves. They become clear, driven by a deep understanding of who we are and what we truly want. Now, let's delve into the first practical way to embrace this hidden aspect of ourselves. This process, crucial for personal growth and fulfillment, involves the art of mindful awareness. Mindful awareness is the practice of observing our thoughts, feelings and behaviors without judgment, providing a pathway to understand and integrate the shadow into our consciousness. To begin, consider the moments when you feel a strong emotional reaction, perhaps anger, annoyance, or even excessive pride. These emotions often signal the presence of our shadow, revealing aspects of ourselves that we have suppressed or denied. Instead of pushing these feelings away, we invite you to observe them with curiosity. Ask yourself, what is this emotion trying to tell me? Why is it so powerful? What part of my shadow is being expressed through this feeling? This exploration is not about finding immediate answers, but about fostering a deeper connection with yourself. As you become more aware of your emotions and reactions, patterns start to emerge. You might notice that certain situations trigger a disproportionate emotional response, pointing to a shadow aspect that needs your attention. This awareness is the first step in transforming your shadow from a hidden force into a known ally. The practice of mindful awareness also extends to how we perceive and judge others. Often what we dislike or criticize in others is a reflection of our own shadow. If you find yourself harshly judging someone for their arrogance, ask yourself if there's a part of you that longs to express confidence more openly. This reflection is not about fostering guilt or shame, but about recognizing the shared humanity in our imperfections and desires. As you become more adept at noticing and understanding your shadow through mindful awareness, a remarkable transformation occurs. You start to see yourself in a more compassionate and holistic light. 
The traits and desires you once thought were unacceptable become integral parts of your story, contributing to your unique character and strengths. In this process of self-discovery, it's important to be patient and kind with yourself. Embracing your shadow is a journey that unfolds over time, requiring perseverance and self-compassion. Remember, every step towards understanding and integrating your shadow is a step towards a more authentic, fulfilling life. As we delve deeper into our journey of embracing the shadow, we arrive at the second key step, acceptance and self-forgiveness. This step is pivotal in transforming our shadow from a source of internal conflict into a wellspring of strength and wisdom. Acceptance and self-forgiveness are not merely concepts, but practices that require our sincere effort and heartful understanding. Acceptance begins with the recognition that every part of us, including our shadow, has a role to play in our life's narrative. It involves acknowledging that the traits and impulses we've repressed or denied are not flaws, but integral parts of our human experience. This doesn't mean we act on every shadow aspect without consideration, but rather we accept these traits as part of our whole self without judgment or condemnation. As we embrace the concept of acceptance and self-forgiveness in our journey of understanding and integrating our shadow, it is valuable to explore how this philosophy aligns with certain religious and philosophical teachings that emphasize similar principles. One such philosophy that resonates with the idea of acceptance and self-forgiveness is Buddhism. Buddhism, a spiritual tradition that originated in ancient India, teaches the path to enlightenment and inner peace through the understanding of one's own mind and emotions. Central to Buddhism is the concept of mindfulness, which encourages individuals to be fully aware of their thoughts, feelings and actions without judgment. In the context of our discussion on acceptance, Buddhism offers valuable insights. Buddhism teaches that suffering arises from our attachment to desires and our resistance to what is. This resistance often stems from our inner conflicts, including the denial of our shadow aspects. The Buddhist philosophy encourages individuals to accept the reality of their inner world, including their flaws and imperfections, with compassion and without self-condemnation. The practice of mindfulness in Buddhism involves observing one's thoughts and emotions as they arise, without trying to change or suppress them. This aligns with the idea of acknowledging our shadow traits without judgment. Instead of rejecting or suppressing these aspects, Buddhism teaches us to examine them with compassion and understanding. By doing so, we can free ourselves from the suffering that comes from self-criticism and denial. Moreover, Buddhism emphasizes the importance of self-forgiveness. The Buddhist concept of metta, or loving-kindness, encourages individuals to extend compassion not only to others, but also to themselves. Self-forgiveness is an essential aspect of this practice. It involves forgiving oneself for past mistakes and accepting that, like all beings, we are imperfect and capable of both light and shadow. In the journey of embracing the shadow, the Buddhist philosophy aligns with the idea that self-forgiveness is a key step towards inner peace and self-transformation. By forgiving ourselves for our past actions and accepting our shadow aspects, we can release the burden of guilt and self-blame. This liberation allows us to move forward with a lighter heart and a clearer mind. It's important to note that Buddhism is just one example of a philosophy that aligns with the principles of acceptance and self-forgiveness in the context of embracing the shadow. Many other religious and philosophical traditions also emphasize similar concepts. Whether it's the Christian teaching of forgiveness and redemption, the Taoist idea of embracing both yin and yang, or the humanist perspective of self-acceptance, various paths lead to the same fundamental truth. Accepting and forgiving ourselves is essential for personal growth and inner harmony. The act of self-forgiveness is deeply intertwined with acceptance. It requires us to look at our past actions and attitudes which were influenced by our unacknowledged shadow with compassion and understanding. Many of us carry guilt or shame about these past behaviors, but self-forgiveness allows us to acknowledge our mistakes and learn from them rather than being trapped in a cycle of self-recrimination. 
To practice acceptance and self-forgiveness, start by reflecting on the aspects of your shadow that you've identified. Approach them with a sense of openness and curiosity. Ask yourself, can I accept that this is a part of me and can I forgive myself for the times I've acted from this shadow place unknowingly? This process might stir up discomfort or resistance, but these feelings are a natural part of the journey towards wholeness. As you engage in this practice, you may find that your relationship with yourself begins to shift. You might experience a greater sense of inner peace and self-compassion, qualities that are essential for personal growth and fulfillment. When we stop fighting against parts of ourselves, we open up the space for true transformation and healing. Moreover, acceptance and self-forgiveness set the foundation for the next steps in integrating the shadow. They prepare us to not only recognize and understand our shadow aspects, but also to harness their energy in positive and constructive ways. This transformation allows us to channel the power of our shadow towards achieving our deepest desires and living a more authentic life. Embarking further on our transformative journey of embracing the shadow, we now approach the third vital step, redefining our narrative. This step is about reshaping the stories we tell ourselves about who we are, our capabilities and our worth. By redefining our narrative, we empower ourselves to use the energy of the shadow in constructive and life-affirming ways. The stories we've believed about ourselves often stem from a mix of societal messages, family dynamics and personal experiences. These narratives can be limiting, painting parts of our personality as inherently bad or unacceptable. Redefining our narrative involves challenging these stories and creating a new, more empowering understanding of our shadow aspects. Begin this transformative process by examining the stories you've internalized about your shadow traits. Maybe you've always thought of your assertiveness as aggression or your sensitivity as a weakness. Consider how these narratives have shaped your actions and self-perception. Then ask yourself, what new story can I tell about these traits? For instance, can you view your assertiveness as a strength that allows you to set boundaries and stand up for yourself and others? Can you see your sensitivity as a gift that enables deep empathy and connection? This redefinition is not about fabricating positive spins on every aspect of your shadow, but about finding the genuine value and strength in these traits. It's about recognizing that every part of you has a potential for positive expression and contribution to your life. As you partake in this practice, you might notice a shift in how you view yourself and your potential. This new narrative opens up possibilities previously unseen. You start to see opportunities for growth and fulfillment that align with your authentic self, including aspects of your shadow. Redefining your narrative also allows you to approach your desires and goals with a new perspective. You begin to understand that achieving what you want is not about denying or fighting parts of yourself, but about integrating and harmonizing them. This integration is a powerful tool in realizing your dreams and living a life that truly reflects who you are. Now we arrive at the fourth and perhaps the most dynamic step in embracing the shadow, transforming it into a source of creative and dynamic energy. This step is about actively harnessing the power of our integrated shadow to manifest our desires and enrich our lives with authenticity and fulfillment. It represents the culmination of our journey, where acceptance, understanding and redefined narratives converge into a powerful force for personal transformation. Transforming the shadow involves recognizing and utilizing the energy and potential that lies within our repressed and ignored aspects. Every trait, even those we've considered negative, holds a seed of creativity and strength. For instance, the energy behind anger, when acknowledged and channeled positively, can become a driving force for change and assertiveness. Similarly, the depth of our hidden fears can be a wellspring for empathy and understanding in our relationships. To begin this transformation, reflect on the aspects of your shadow that you've identified and worked to integrate. Consider how these traits, once seen as hindrances, can now be sources of strength and inspiration. Ask yourself, 
How can I use the energy of this trait in a positive and constructive way? This inquiry is not about forcing change, but about allowing the natural strengths of your shadow to emerge and align with your goals and desires. For example, if you've discovered a hidden talent for assertiveness, consider how this can be used to enhance your career or personal relationships. If you've uncovered a deep sensitivity, explore how this can fuel your creativity or help you connect more deeply with others. The key is to see these traits as tools and allies in your journey towards fulfillment. As you engage in this transformative process, you may find yourself approaching life with a renewed sense of purpose and confidence. The once feared aspects of your personality become your greatest assets, propelling you towards your goals and dreams. This shift in perspective opens up a world of possibilities where your desires are not just dreams, but achievable realities. Vincent van Gogh, a renowned Dutch painter from the 19th century, is a compelling example of how embracing one's shadow can lead to extraordinary creativity and personal transformation. Van Gogh's life was marked by struggles with mental health issues, including depression and anxiety. These inner demons often manifested in his art, with many of his works depicting somber and tumultuous emotions. Van Gogh's early life was characterized by a sense of rejection and isolation. He faced difficulties in forming meaningful relationships and was plagued by self-doubt. These aspects of his shadow were powerful, but they initially seemed to hinder his creative journey. However, as he continued to explore and express his inner turmoil through his art, something remarkable happened. Instead of suppressing his emotional struggles, Van Gogh channeled them onto the canvas. His use of bold colors and dramatic brushstrokes gave life to his inner turmoil, transforming it into stunning masterpieces. Take, for instance, his iconic painting, Starry Night. In this work, Van Gogh used swirling patterns and vibrant colors to convey the turbulence of his mind. The result was a painting that not only captured his inner turmoil, but also resonated with viewers on a profound emotional level. As we reach the zenith of our journey with the shadow, we embrace the fifth and final step, living in harmony with our integrated shadow. This step is about maintaining a balanced and ongoing relationship with all parts of ourselves, ensuring that the insights and strengths we've gained from our shadow are actively incorporated into our daily lives. It's here that we find the true essence of fulfillment and the ability to attain all that we desire. Living in harmony with our shadow means consistently acknowledging and valuing all aspects of our personality, even those that once seemed challenging or undesirable. It's about recognizing that our shadow traits, when understood and channeled positively, contribute to our wholeness and authenticity. This ongoing integration is not a static state, but a dynamic process of self-awareness and growth. To live in harmony with your shadow, practice regular self-reflection and mindfulness. This could be through meditation, journaling, or simply taking moments throughout your day to check in with yourself. Ask yourself questions like, am I honoring all parts of myself right now? Or how can I use my shadow traits in this situation in a positive way? This continual self-dialogue ensures that your shadow remains an active and conscious part of your life. Another key aspect of living in harmony with your shadow is self-compassion. Understand that integrating your shadow is a journey filled with ups and downs. There will be moments of great insight and moments of challenge. Approach these experiences with kindness and patience, knowing that each step, whether forward or backward, is part of your journey towards self-mastery and fulfillment. As you embody this harmonious relationship with your shadow, you'll notice a profound impact on your ability to achieve your desires. Your goals and dreams will no longer be clouded by unacknowledged parts of yourself. Instead, they'll be fueled by a deep understanding of your full potential and the diverse strengths that reside within you. In living harmoniously with your shadow, you also become a beacon of inspiration for others. You demonstrate the power of self-acceptance and the beauty of a fully realized human being. Your journey encourages others to embark on their own path of self-discovery and fulfillment.
Taoism, an ancient philosophy and way of life, offers valuable insights on living in harmony with your shadow. In Taoism, there is a concept of the Tao, often described as the natural way or the path of least resistance. It teaches us to flow with the rhythms of life, much like a river flows effortlessly around obstacles. One of the fundamental principles of Taoism is the idea of balance. Taoists believe in the balance of opposites, known as the yin and yang. This concept suggests that opposing forces are interconnected and interdependent, and harmony is found in their equilibrium. When it comes to your shadow, Taoism reminds us that it is a part of the natural order of things. Just as day and night, joy and sorrow and life and death are interconnected, so are the light and dark aspects of your personality. Embracing your shadow means acknowledging that it is an essential part of who you are, just like the yin is as important as the yang. In conclusion, the journey of embracing the shadow is a transformative path that leads to a life of authenticity, purpose, and fulfillment. It's a journey that requires courage, honesty, and an open heart. As you continue to walk this path, remember that each step you take in integrating your shadow brings you closer to realizing your deepest desires and living the life you truly want. Embrace your shadow and let it guide you to the heights of your potential and the fulfillment of your dreams. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.